What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a beginner's Pilates warm up. If we've not met before, my name is Margaret. I'm a Pilates instructor. This week we're doing all beginner Pilates workouts. Now this one's gonna be really good to do either on its own as a standalone um, workout or just kind of like a standalone movement. Um, you can also do it in conjunction with any of the other videos that we do this week. So you can do this first, you can do, you know, core workout, low body workout, upper body workout, whatever you want to do. Um, this warm up is going to focus on helping us connect breath with movement and mind with muscle. I'm gonna help you to work through a couple of exercises so that you can find the proper postural alignment in your body, pr proper alignment of the hips and of the shoulders, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. If you wanna come to a cross-legged position down on your mat, that will be a good spot to be. You can also put the legs out in front of you. Just find a spot that you feel comfortable. We're gonna start with a little bit of breathing. Now I want you to bring the hands to the tops of your legs. We'll take a nice deep inhale. You can start to pull your shoulders up towards the ears. We'll make this kind of a full body breath. And then exhale, we'll relax the shoulders down and back and we'll keep moving like that. Inhale, shoulders come up towards the ears. Big exhale, we relax the shoulders down and back. We'll do two more. Inhale, shoulders come up. Big exhale, relax the shoulders down and back. Last one, inhale, shoulders come up. And then big exhale, we bring the shoulders down and back. So they were getting the breath a little bit into the chest. Now I want you to push your breath down into your belly. So hands come to your belly. We're gonna take a nice deep inhale, start to fill your belly up with air. Big exhale, push all that air out. Keep moving like that. Inhale, fill the belly up. Exhale, let it go. We'll do two more like that. Inhale, fill the belly up. Exhale, let it go. This will be our last one. Inhale, fill the belly up. Exhale, let it go. Okay, now I want you to bring your air up in towards your rib cage. Hands are gonna come right to where the bottom of your sports bra strap is. If you're wearing a sports bra, right at the bottom of your rib cage, a little bit of an overlap through the fingers. As we move through Pilates exercises, we're thinking about a posterior lateral breath. So we're going from side to side, front to back. So fingertips interlace, not interlace, um, finger, fingertips overlap just a little bit. Now we're gonna inhale. Think about sending the air out side to side. Feel how the fingertips pull apart a little bit. And then we'll exhale, push all that air out. Fingertips come back together. We'll do three more like that. Two more. Last one. Perfect. As we move throughout the rest of these exercises, continue to think about that posterior lateral breath, side to side, front to back. Arms are gonna come out in front of you. I want you to reach your fingertips long towards me. Roll the shoulders down your back. So if you look and you can see yourself in a mirror or anything around you, and you see your shoulders are all the way up by your ears, we wanna roll them down, plug them down into your back, okay? All we're gonna do here on your inhale, you'll reach your fingertips forward towards me. We're gonna curve a little bit through the upper back. So think about drawing the shoulder blades apart, but maintain that nice long spine. And then exhale, we'll pull right back in, squeezing the shoulder blades back together. And if I turn to the side, it makes it a little bit easier for you guys to see that. Inhale, we round through the upper back a little bit, draw the shoulder blades apart, and then exhale, squeeze it back in like you're trying to pull the shoulder blades together. We'll do two more like that. Inhale, pushing it forward. Exhale, bringing it back. The last one, inhale, we push it forward. Exhale, we bring it back. Beautiful, from here, arms are gonna lift and lower. Inhale, we lift the arms up overhead, but keep the shoulders down and back. Exhale, we pull the hands right back in front of the shoulders. Inhale, we lift. Exhale, we lower. Two more here. Last one. Perfect, hands can come down by your sides. Now we're gonna reach the legs out in front of us. I want you to bring your feet so they're a little bit wider than hips distance and we'll flex through the feet. We're gonna take a spine stretch. Inhale, reach the arms out in front of you. 
or just reach the arms out in front of you on your inhale, we're gonna do something similar to what we just did. We're gonna reach the fingertips forward. We'll round through the upper back, reaching your fingertips towards your toes. Exhale, we pull the belly button in towards the spine, squeeze through the upper abdominals, pull yourself back up, plug the shoulder blades back in. Okay, we'll keep moving like that. We're just moving in the upper half of the body. Everything else stays still. So we're trying to disassociate um, the hips and the rib cage. We'll do two more here. Inhale, reaching it forward. Last one. We'll sit up nice and tall, open the arms out into a T, palms flip forward. On your inhale, we'll start to rotate over towards the right side of the room, nice long spine. And then we'll exhale, reach the left hand towards the outside of the right foot. Okay, next inhale, we'll pull back up through center, rotate right back around to square off, take a breath. And then your next exhale, we twist, we start to reach the right hand down towards the outside of the left foot. Pull back it up through center. We'll keep moving like that. So a nice little warm up through the shoulders, through our back, through the center of the body, the core, the obliques, and a really good stretch through the hamstrings as well. Next time you come down towards the right foot, we're gonna pulse one, two, three, we'll bring it all the way back up, open those arms out, same thing on the left. We pulse one, two, three, everything comes up. One more each side, we go one, two, three, pull it back up, reach it over, one, two, three. Okay, from here, arms are gonna come back up through center, drop the hands down by your sides. Legs are gonna stay reaching out in front of you, but I want you to bend at the knees a little bit, plant your feet down. Now from here, hands come behind your legs. We're gonna exhale, find a tuck in your tailbone. So pull belly button to spine, shift back a little bit onto your sits bone, that bony part of your butt. And we'll start to roll all the way down towards the mat. Doesn't have to be anything crazy. Head's gonna be the last thing to touch down. Now from here, we're gonna continue to warm up, obviously. Knees are gonna stay bent, feet about hips distance apart, plant your heels down into your mat. We're gonna warm up a little bit in the upper body, but also getting into the low body a little bit too. Arms are gonna open out to your side, so you create a goal post position with the arms, 90 degree bend in your elbows. Shoulders press down, elbows press down. Back of the palms press down. On your inhale, we're gonna reach the arms up overhead, keeping the bend in your elbows. You'll bring your fingertips to touch over your head. Exhale, we pull it back down into that goal post. Your next inhale, you squeeze the elbows in towards the sides of your body. So the goal here is to try and keep your shoulders and your elbows down on the ground and we'll keep moving like that. Inhale, we reach up, fingertips touch, or maybe they don't, that's okay. Exhale, we pull it down. Elbows in line with the shoulders. And then your next inhale, we squeeze the elbows in towards the sides of our body. Exhale, we push them back up. One more each direction. Fingers come up. Exhale, we pull it down. And then we squeeze the elbows in towards the sides of our body. Lift it up. Elbows in line with the shoulders. From here, we can squeeze the arms back down towards the sides of our body, palms face down. Now we're gonna work on finding a neutral pelvis. So I want you to take an inhale, let your hips pull you forward so your low back lifts off of the mat. So it's like you're popping your ass back. Okay, then exhale, we pull back through center. Your next inhale, we'll do the opposite of that. So push your hips forward towards you. So you really press your low back heavy into the mat. And we'll keep moving through that just a little bit. Inhale, we come through center. Your next exhale, kind of let the hips pull you forward through center, push it back. One more time. Okay. We're gonna come back through center. I want you to find an in-between point from that really um, strong posterior tilt to really strong anterior tilt. Find the in-between and that's where your neutral pelvis is going to be, okay? So we have a little bit of pressure through the back of the hips, tailbone presses down to the mat, but your low back doesn't have to necessarily press down. It's okay if there's um, 
you know, a little bit of space, not a whole lot, but a little bit that you could fit like a piece of paper underneath your back. From here, we're gonna lift the arms up over the shoulders, inhale, lift, exhale, we'll squeeze it back down. As you squeeze it down, you wanna think about squeezing right underneath the armpits. That's what's gonna move your arms. So we're using the lats to pull the arms down. We'll do one more here. And then hands can come down by your sides. Now we'll warm up through the low body a little bit. Now with your neutral pelvis, I want you to hang on to that. Find a little tuck in your tailbone. Think about pulling the top of the hips upwards towards your rib cage. Hang on to that. And we'll take a big exhale, start to press your hips up. Find a bridge position. Once you get up to the top, you're gonna pause. You'll take your inhale, and then we'll take another big exhale to lower all the way back down. Now, as we move here, I want you to think about articulating through the spine, pushing each, each little piece of your spine up one by one by one, and then bring it back down piece by piece. Next time we lift the hips, arms are gonna come with you. We'll inhale, no, inhale at the bottom, sorry. Exhale, we lift the arms up over the shoulders. That's gonna help you to really press down through the shoulder blades. Inhale at the top. Exhale, we lower it all the way back down. Beautiful, okay, couple more. Exhale, we push it up. Inhale at the top. And then exhale, we bring it back down to the bottom. We'll do two more. be our last one. Okay, everything lowers down. Hands come down by your sides. Just rock the knees from side to side. Take a deep breath. Just keep rocking those knees. Okay, we're right at the end of our warm-up exercises. I want you to bring your knees um, back, kind of above the hips, feet down, so bend in the knees. And we're gonna inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Let the low back lift off of your mat. So inhale, nice, big breath. Exhale, we'll pull everything down. So your spine presses back down. You find that neutral pelvis, arms reach over the shoulders. We're gonna take a big exhale breath. Start to tuck your chin in toward your chest. Draw the belly button to the spine. We're gonna roll everything up. So press heavy into the hips. Try to press down through the feet. Lift everything up. Once you get up there, you can open the knees. Feet can come together. We'll take a little forward fold over the legs. Deep breath down at the bottom. And then we'll press everything up. So those are gonna be all of your warm up exercises. And as you went through them, I'm sure you kind of found it was a little bit easier to connect breath with movement, mind with muscle. You start to feel kind of where the right shoulder placement is, the right hip placement is. Hope that was helpful for you guys. And I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. We're starting off with a beginner core workout. Remember, you're awesome. You can do anything you put your mind. <laughs> Remember, you're awesome. You can do anything you put your mind to. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.